You find all scenarios you have created in the section My Scenarios. But in fact, there are a few more. If you click on New Scenario, you can also access some scenarios added by the Novigado team. You can use these scenarios as they are, but most likely you want to adapt the scenario you chose for your personal use. So if you select one of these existing scenarios, you can adapt it. And if you save it, it will be added to your My Scenarios list. All scenarios from this list can be edited. They can also be duplicated in case you want to create a new version, but keep the old one. But you might also want to share your scenario with someone else. What you can do is click on the title of the scenario and then the download button will appear. And when you click on this download button, you can produce a PDF file of your scenario. And this PDF you can share, of course. When you have finished or partly finished the scenario, you can save it. This means it is available for your own private purpose. But there is also a way to share the web page of your scenario. What you need to do is click on Publish. You will then need to change the status from private to visible to other logged in users. Once you have done so, you can have a look at it by clicking on the preview button and there's the share button. So you also have the possibility to share the web page of your scenario or lesson plan, but it will only be visible to others who also have an account and who are logged in. Be aware that when you want to change your scenario you published earlier, it will become automatically private again. So in that case, others will no longer have access until you change the status again. So as we said, all scenarios you created are listed in the overview you find at My Scenarios. If you're starting to have many scenarios, it could be a good option to make lists and make collections by giving your scenarios a label. If you haven't created the list you need yet, you click on Manage Lists and create the one you want. Once you have created your list, you can select the scenario and add your scenario to the list of your choice. Another option is to archive scenarios you don't use anymore. You can select the scenario and click on the archive button on top. The scenario will disappear from the My Scenarios list. This doesn't mean that it is lost when you visit My Archive via the button on top. You will see you can bring it back to my scenarios if you want, or delete it forever.